fine with me. Well, it had worse down to you, hadn't you? Yeah, it's a V8. So am I under arrest? No, no, no. Am no. I in we're trouble? Just, we're just talking because okay. a lot of, lot of people's names come up that hang out down that area. You but know. now, like, you can have anything off of me you want. I ain't done nothing wrong. And uh, I'll give you a description the best I can of those other three dudes if you want that. But you know, once this word gets out, I'll help you. They'll be looking for me. Well, there's there's plenty of guys down here that's, you know, we think is already helping us. So, I mean, you're, okay. not, you're not standing alone on this one. No, I don't want to. I mean, I don't want, I don't want one of them walking up here sinking no. me either, you know? All right. So I, yeah, I don't, that, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't going to happen. Uh, you know, we just wanted to make sure that if you was there and you seen something, you know, I didn't see nothing, to, sir. I was seeing these fellas. three idiots. Or, I call them crazy. They are crazy. Mm -hmm. They have tolling. They wore biker gloves, what I call biker gloves. I don't know what else to call them. They're tight leather gloves. And uh, all of them was in blue jeans. All of them was scraggly. Uh, the boss of the outfit or a top dog, you know, we go but like that out here. Whoever's running the show, psycho. He's the one that's talked the shit the most. Snake agreed with him a lot. Snake was more like a pansy. Yeah, that was that was talking about some of this satanic, uh, satanic, or satanic, satanic, whatever okay. you want to call it. I didn't know what it was, and I had to go ask what it was, and they called it Satan worship. Who'd you ask? Oh. Down here at the mission, just general conversation with Bill and all that. Yeah. And I had no idea what in the hell they was talking about. I didn't like the way they was looking at me. Did they talk about what they would do to a person during a, uh, a human sacrifice? sacrifice? I have no idea what a human sacrifice is. Is that the words they use? Yes, sir. That's the exact words they use. They got to have a human sacrifice every week. Well, what, do, what do you think that they might be doing? A human sacrifice, sir, I don't know if they're just blowing smoke or bullshit. Uh, well, a human sacrifice only means a couple of things. Which, I mean, when you hear it, what do you think? Well, at the time when I heard it, all it was just a bunch of shit. But a human sacrifice, I'd say nail somebody to a cross or something. To me, sacrifice Christ, didn't it? Now, what they was talking about, I really don't know. So they didn't, they didn't specify they didn't go into any No, detail. sir. I should, like I said, I, I tried to keep the conversation different, but the more they done that shit, the worse it got. Did they ask you to be involved in it? No, sir. And they said they, how often do they do this? They said they have to do it every week. Got to have at least a human sacrifice every week. Was she talking, when they were talking about all this stuff, what was she, she was sitting right there with them. Was she talking about it too, or she just No. Was Her and Copper was more interested in playing. And they was, they was friends. I didn't say, I don't know about lovers or boyfriend or girlfriends, but they was friends. You can tell they knew each other better than, you know, but she didn't have to say a word. <clears throat> did they get up and walk off before you did, or did you leave? No, sir, I left and came back down this way. Did you ever see them again? No, sir, I did not. You didn't say which way they took off walking? No, sir, I was, came back down here this way and went to Ronnie's, and that's where I spent that. Uh, tonight, when I get back over there, I show you all my receipts and everything from the motels. And the, well, I signed in over at the mission. They can tell you when I was here. You stay at the mission? Yes, sir. I stay three three nights lock you down where you can't leave. Four o'clock. Four o'clock p.m. You can't leave after that. You can't leave after four o'clock. You go in at four o'clock. You check in. You <coughs> can't walk out that door till uh, seven o'clock the next morning. Oh yes, sir. well that's that's the way they. Uh, oh, well, they keep you in there, keep. You well, in. not really. They ain't really locking you in. It's more like uh, more safety to them because if people get out here and get drunk and come in there, and nobody wants to get going to bed with a drunk laying there beside them. Uh, in a way, that's good. But I don't like going to bed at no nine o'clock. They turn everything off at nine o'clock. It's no big deal. Uh, point I was trying to make while I go record, there's no reason for any of your bodily fluids to be on or in this lady. No, sir. That we've recovered today. No, okay. sir. But that's the reason we want to get the sample from you and have it checked again once they find on her and in her. 
You want to let me to. I already told you, I go up there and let you take blood and hair and... They won't take a whole lot, we just need the same. Uh, sir, I ain't got much. No. <laughs> Lose it up there. <laughs> but I'll do whatever, I, like I said, I'll do it for you. I ain't got nothing to hide. I ain't done nothing. When you said saw it, I figured you found somebody hit again. Remember when you arrested me last time? It was a black guy, wasn't it? And that's when black guy took some of my stuff. Yeah. And there's five of us involved there. I went to jail and you know the story ever came out. But well, you never, never would tell us everything. No, sir, it ain't my place to. Yeah. You know, I cannot snitch on my... Well, I mean, this is this is different here. We're talking about a death. That's... It's not, it's not, a, it's not a railroad right. track fight. Okay, there's a big difference there. You yes, sir, I know. There. I just hear this is a big difference. I'm sorry, but I didn't do that, is it? No, if you want to take blood or hair or whatever, you, I'll be willing to give it to you. You didn't You didn't see them assault her? No, sir. I sure did not. If I'd have seen that, I'd have come and told you that. I mean, are you, you trying to, did they really, uh, what they do to her? Just beat her up and let her lay over? Is that what she's saying? The salt is like hitting somebody. Is that what who's saying? Well, you said assault. And, you say is that what she's saying no is that what assault means they beat her up and they beat her or what well it could be sexually assaulted or, or oh okay you know, well anything. i don't know what you said assault yeah you know well you know medical examiner have to tell us exactly okay you know what what occurred there and he'll collect the evidence and we'll okay. compare it with you know you're not the only one that we had some samples taken from okay well, i'll be glad uh, to give them to you i have no problem as far as we know you're the last person that's seen her oh, you're, you're so that person. makes me it makes everybody suspect that's been around her. That's just, I mean, that's just how it works. Okay. Uh, but I'll be glad to give you blood, hair, and pubical hair, or whatever you want. Is there anything else that, that you can help us, you know, identify these what? guys, or maybe what happened exactly up I don't there? know what happened, sir. I told you, I left the key. Did you ever hear any, have you heard any talk about anything going on? I've been at my mom's, my sister's, and at the hospital. I've been in the process of moving her. You know, I ain't been back over here. When I left, I called, uh, let's see, when did I call my mom? Uh, last night I was at the mission, it was Saturday, I'm pretty sure. I called my mom, she told me my sister was having, uh, had a heart attack and had surgery. And Aunt Betty took me over to the hospital, and I've been with my mom and my sister ever since. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you told us you, you pretty much quit drinking. Yes, sir. So that means you still have some every now and then? Yes, sir, I have some every now and then. Was, was you drinking this day you met this girl? No, sir. Hadn't had anything to drink? No, sir. Had she? I don't know, sir. Did you smell anything on her? No, sir. You can't even go into mission drunk. Was she huffing? She had a bag, she took the head off the bag, yes sir. <coughs> did their condition worsen? Yes sir, the more they did that garbage, the crazier they talked, that's what made me get up and leave. You say they headed back down to state, Billy's camp or state? They said they was camped out up at Billy's camp. When I left, they were still at the T. You know what I'm talking about, the T. Right, right. Okay. I don't believe does. He does. Right there behind the chicken plant, pretty close, ain't it? Yeah, behind the okay, the T's are right here. Tugboats? Yeah, right by tugboats up there on the... Uh, yeah. Just walk up the T. There's a little house, a real nice house sits there, kind of brick and blue. You can see it. Right, right behind the, the switch box. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, you know what a polygraph is? No, sir. Oh, you mean a lie detector test? Yeah. You want me to take a lie detector test? Would you? No, sir, no, I won't. You have you, have you I have took so ones? much drugs, huh? Have you, have you taken all those before on anything? Probably not, sir. Some, some employees, employers. I have took so them. much drugs, you got me all upset. Well, I'm not asking you to take it right now. If it's something that we needed later on, just to confirm your statement if the prosecutor wanted a statement confirmed or something. They say those things just dangerous. But I'm willing to give you anything you want. Mm -hmm. 
really sounds like you're trying to accuse me of this. No, I'm just, I'll be honest with you, I'm not ruling out anybody, you know. Okay. Uh, probably seen it on TV. Good detectives don't rule out anybody, you know. Well, I didn't see it on TV. No, I'm saying it oh. you know, on some of the movies and stuff. Oh, you know? okay. You know, you can't rule out anybody. All uh, we know right now, Rick, is you're the last one to see her of, of people that we can find right here. You can think about the lie detector test for a day or two. I mean, that just, that just confirms your statement, you know. Uh, anything else that you can do that, that confirms? I'll give you blood, uh, hair, okay. whatever else you want. I ain't done nothing. Okay. So, no. Where are your pills at? Home? At home. Yes, sir, they are. This is all I carry with me. I called, uh, <coughs> you know I called mom. Is that nitro? Yes, sir, nitroglycerin. I wear a heart patch, too. Is that the only pair of boots you got? Yes, sir. Be careful to get some pictures of those before we, before we leave. Got a tire, a tire on, got mud on. Yeah. I did a roofing job. When'd you do that? Friday or Saturday? Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. That'd be Saturday. Is it is it rougher on on the women that ride the trains? Or I mean, they they pretty much have to stick with somebody to. And ninety percent of women that ride trains sort of already got them a man. So that somebody that'll protect them. Somebody. Well, most of them protects themselves. Pretty tough. Yeah. You've been, you've been in trouble with, with a few fights and stuff. Not the only trouble I've been in right here, the only place I've ever got a record at right here for assault. Yeah, the other states you've been in? No, nothing, sir. Maybe public or nothing like that? No, sir. Okay. So, Copper is, is maybe her boyfriend? Yes, or, sir. That's the way, I, the way it seemed to me. You know anybody else who's seen these three fellas? No, sir. I don't. Besides Pops, Pops knew them. Pops knew the names. Pops said he's seen him getting on the train. And when did you talk to Pops again? When he told you that? Oh, uh, next day. We're sitting there talking. That's when I talked to Pops. So you left T, went to Ronnie's. Yeah. Went to Dubs. Did and back. I checked at the mission. Checked in at the mission and was sitting there talking. Did y'all start talking about these three guys? Well, I was talking about the craziness happening down on the track, and I told him I met some real crazy people. You know, Pops like I am, he don't go very far no more. Is that, is that when you told him the names? Yeah, he knew the names right off the bat. So you, you just assumed that he had met them and he knew them? Yes, sir. I tell you, he even one told me they was out of Kansas City. Or that Kansas City bunch. So Pops has met him, right? The way I understood it, yes sir, the way he talked, he said he was from Kansas City. And but Pops are still around or is not? If he's I'm, gone, if he's gone, he'll be back on him. Yes, sir. Did, did he know they wear these gloves and carry these knives and stuff? Or? Well, I imagine he does if he knows them. He didn't, he didn't say anything about it. No, sir. I just, I just noticed it just kind crazy. of stuck out in your mind that, you know, they had these, these gloves on. I always pay attention to what people wear. What kind of knives were they, Rick? Just big knives. Catching knives, hunting knives? No, sir. They was on the dag, uh, whatever they call the sheep. Like a regular hunting knife. Yeah. Leather, leather sheep. Yeah. I always pay attention when I walk in camp of what's the surroundings, because that's how you get your... You know, usually in a situation in the jungle, you got five minutes to get out of danger if you have to get out of danger. You know, especially three people you ain't never meet, so you, you be aware. And what really good reason the blood sticks in my mind? I seen uh, cops or you know and stuff like that. Really, I was thinking, well, I'd like to have a pair of those because mm -hmm. they nice, you know, nice gloves. But that's just, you know, I see things. 
really like the gloves, so it's definitely on my mind. take pictures of me, take pictures, you want blood, hair, or whatever. Okay. Anything else right now? Somebody run you up there and get that blood and get your, get your feet photographed. Somebody got to take me back home? Part of the deal. Took me to supper time. I, know I, told you mom, I told your mama I wouldn't. I ain't about to lie to her. Well, you think you I'm fixing to get a lecture and a half when I get home over She's there. probably gonna quiz you pretty good when you get there. Well, if what you, do I what can I tell her and what can I tell her? Uh whatever, whatever you think you need to tell her, you know your mother. You know. Uh, you don't wanna get her upset or Well, I don't wanna get her upset, don't wanna get neither one of them upset. I mean bas basically just you tell know, her it not not to be offensive to you, but I don't I don't trust anybody in my line of work. Yes, I'll sir. wait. I'll wait until the evidence proves that, yes, sir, that you're innocent. And if your DNA matches with the DNA we pull off of her, then yeah, you're going to be in some trouble. Okay. Um, and then, then that means that you was there. Doesn't necessarily mean that you participated in what happened. Um, but it means that, that there's more to than what you told us. Now, if it comes back that it's not your DNA, then of course then that kind of goes with what you're saying. In DNA, I'm talking about the, the body fluids, you know, like semen, semen blood, um, well, I ain't, saliva. I ain't got no cuts on me at all. Well, on her, you know. Anytime you have sexual yeah, relations and stuff like that, there's going to be some uh, DNA exchanged. You know, yours yeah. on hers and hers on yours. And Anytime you've been sitting there, you probably lost 50 hairs, too. Some of your hairs are on me and some of mine are on you by now. Because you've been in his car and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, if you haven't been up to the camp, then uh, nothing up there is going to... I ain't been up to the... I may have to the T, sir. Mm -hmm. I have been to the T. I'm straight up front. I but but you understand, it's my job to prove that you're innocent or my job to prove that... Yes, sir, that I'm guilty of this. Right. I understand that. I ain't never given on any of a hard time. I know. You know, never, never gave me any. You know, you've always been cooperative with me. You know, I just, I just want to make sure, and, and I just sense a little hesitation in you that maybe there's a little bit more that you're just worried about telling us or something, and you know, uh, that maybe you seen or knew or got involved in as just seeing them and saying, hey, look, you know, I need to get away from here. I didn't get involved in nothing. I ain't done nothing. Well, not, I mean, not, I'm not saying participating in it, but being an observer, being observer, being involved. No, sir. I just at the, I went to the T first campus for as long. Uh, there's another gentleman, Tex, you talked to him, gray bearded guy. Tex, I think I remember that name. You got a beard? Yes, sir. Okay. He's here in town, too. Or was. Now, now, some of the other guys are talking to some of the people because there's so many of you. There's only a few of us, so we're kind of trying to around, split so. it down. Okay. Right, and I just have to check and see if they've talked to him. What, what does he know? I don't know. I just, you know, he was asking who all was around. I oh, okay. thought of Texas there, too. Mm -hmm. Texas in town. Medication you got me now. It helps you sleep. Does it make you drowsy and stuff? Makes you drowsy, makes you tired. I tuck more. I was gonna go eat supper and come back to bed. Yeah, bed. Do it. Like I said, you want blood or hair or whatever? I'll be glad to do it. If, if you if you'd seen these guys up there, or if you did see these guys up there, uh, and, and would I know them if I seen them? Again? No. Would you Would you tell me if if you seen them do something with this girl? Yes, sir. I tell you, if I you wouldn't, you wouldn't be something. afraid that they'd come back and get you, or sir, just talk to you about them. They'll come back and get me if they found out. I'll talk to you about these people. Yes, I, you know it's just the way it is out here on the tracks. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sorry, but 
that's just the way it is. But even if they murdered somebody, they expect you to keep your mouth shut. You just better be glad you won one of them they murdered. Hmm. See, there's uh, there's gangs out here, sir. There's uh, Goon Squad, FTRA, Blue and Red. There's just all kinds of bad people out here. That's one reason I don't ride no more. I don't not give me back to the house. I'll be glad to show you all my receipts. Tell you what I'm telling you. You know, uh, I can't tell you no more. I did not see nobody hurt that lady. That's what you asked of me. Did she seem uh, scared or anything last time you talked? No, sir. She wasn't. Scared. She wasn't scared of these people at all. She knew these people. Did she tell you about any of her future claims or where they was? Yes, no, sir. Tell you about a boyfriend in jail or anything? No, sir. I did tell. They did tell me at the mission she was supposed to have a boyfriend in jail. You never did meet. No, sir, I don't even know who he is. I think it, I don't even remember his name. They told me it's a real name, too, and I don't even know who it is. Skid Row. Why did, why did they tell you about him? We was just sitting there talking. <coughs> you know, just like we sitting here talking, exchanging information and everything. They told me about two weeks earlier. Now, uh, there might have been a lot of, before I came in, there was a great big old fight. Okay? Mm -hmm. He was telling me people about it, you know, telling me about the great big old fight down there. He was just naming off people. Just fill me in on everything. Yeah, just, just it's just like a telephone, you know. Mm -hmm. Fill me in on what's happening, what ain't happening, who's here and who ain't been here, or, you know, and stuff like that. Just information. But, uh, I think that was his, I think that's what they told me his name was, a skid roll or something like that. Yeah. You said there wasn't no attraction between you and this lady? No, sir. But you gave her a hug? I hugged the sister, yeah, I did. And that's... That's it. That's just... If me and you was riding the rail together, I hug dudes, too. You know, that don't make me a faggot. So you're not you're not homosexual? No, sir. I'm afraid not. Okay. Uh, it all... That's just like Bill. I shake Bill's hand. I hug old pop. You hug the brothers out here that you've been with a long time, or you hug all the sisters. Mm -hmm. It's just a respect thing. But no, I ain't had sex with her. I ain't had sex with her. Was there any respect there for the, the brothers and sisters that get hurt? Pardon? Is there any respect there for, for the sisters? Brothers and sisters that get hurt out here yeah. on the track? If one of them was to get killed, is there respect there enough that somebody knows something, or do they, do they come forward? It all depends on the person, I guess. What do you think should happen to the person that would, would do that to them? Uh, one kill of the sisters. Them. Five to one, he'll make it. He'll find them out here on the track somewhere if the word gets out. There's an old uh, fleece thy own. Mm -hmm. If you know what I'm talking about, it's just like remember. You ever heard that uh, sidetrack? You remember when that, he rode up and down here, finally got caught. That's the best thing ever happened to that man to get him caught and go in jail the rest of his life or a death penalty or whatever he got. There's a lot of crazy people out here. There's no doubt in my mind. I don't know. Who would have had the best opportunity? What do you mean? To, I mean, they was around her the most. You know, they was going to hurt her or something. Who would have the best opportunity to hurt this lady? Couldn't tell you who. You asked me who hurt her. Yeah. I don't know who hurt her. Did you see her talking to anybody else before you talked to her in at the mission? Said she was eating lunch there. Was she sitting by anybody? Let's see. I walked in and she was here. Burning and there was sitting over there. I think there was a couple of people sitting at her table. Two men? Yeah. Didn't know? 
you know, so right, but not right off the bat, no, like, it's been too long, I don't remember everything. If you go in there and eat, you got to sign in, right? Yes, sir. So if they were there, they signed in. Yes, you sir. Know? Whoever, there's two books. Whoever signs that book is there. You got to put a name and a social security number. So it's your real name or your, well, whatever. Just whatever. My name's, I put my real name. Put my not renegade my real name. But you going in just talking to her, you didn't have to sign the book because you didn't eat. I didn't even talk to her inside. Not just okay. We'll have that. I went in there and was talking to everybody else and she sent me with my backpack and everything. And I was sitting outside waiting for them to come out and talk. Get right up there and get that and get it back home. I can show you receipts and things when I get back to the house. Okay. All right. Set tight a second. We'll get a, get a car brought around. You want some water or something, Brick? Oh, I'm all right. Stay at Edwards Garden Lodge. Remember the number? Uh, 235. 235. I mean, how long was you there? Two months. Two months. And that was your, you and your sister? No, that's me. That oh, was just my home. She didn't stay with you? No, sister. sir. She lived, uh. Did you pay with that? Would you check? You get no, it, sir. Uh, okay. All right. They're bringing the car around. Now, you think you can give me a pretty good description of those three guys if we break them down? Uh, we'll just give them a name, the nickname, and just give me a clear your mind real good. Let's start with Copper. Okay. <coughs> Copper's about yay big. He's I have to about yay big. Uh five nine to six foot. Yeah, he wore glass. He had on sunglasses. Sunglasses? He had on glasses. sunglasses. What, what kind? Just sunglasses. It's, I don't know if he makes sunglasses. Uh, white guy? White guy. All three of them was Caucasian. Okay. White. Uh, I'd say probably about 160, 70 pounds. Okay. How much do you think I weigh? Probably about 160. Okay. Do you? Close? 180. Oh, okay. Uh, age wise, I'd say he's probably. You know, he's probably about 32, 31, somewhere right around there. How do you think I am? Mm, he probably, probably, let's see. I know you know Eric. You went to school with Eric. So don't, don't figure it that way. If you had to look at me and say my age. I'd figure about 38, 39. He'd be... Thanks. Younger? 33. 33. Well, so ain't no good at this stuff. Okay. Well, that's, that's why I'm testing you. Okay. <laughs> see how close we're getting to these guys here. Oh. Uh, Psycho the leader. Or... The one he's probably six one, six two, because he's the tallest one of them all. And I know he weighed. Uh, I don't know, but I'd say he probably weighed two fifteen or so. Say he was fat or stocky or stocky. Snake the kid. Snake was uh I'd say Snake was the youngest one of them all. He looked the youngest one of them all. 
and they all wore a uh, Psycho and Snake wore uh, skull caps. Uh, Black skull knit. caps. Well, I don't know what they call so I always call them skull caps. Is it just like cotton, real soft ones you can take off with yeah. your pocket? Okay. And I'd say his age would be about 25. That was uh, Snake, Snake and Psycho for those. Yeah. They wore black leather. I don't know if they was real leather, but I call them biker gloves. Okay. All three of them? Nope, Copper didn't have no gloves on. Okay. How tall do you think Snake is? Five, 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 six. Shorter than you? Yeah. You remember a guy named a Tank? He looked just like Tank to me. You know Tank's real name? No, sir. We ever arrest him? Well, he's been around here probably drunk a couple times. Okay. Tank was a railroad rider? Yeah. He's young, same age? Yeah. Or? About the same age, yeah. But I ain't seen him in a long time. Uh, they said it came from Fort Worth? Yes, sir. They said it or she said it? They said it too. They all came up from Fort Worth. That's the information I asked where we up, where we going, where it coming from. They never did say where they was going. They said they rode in from Fort Worth with us. But Who did most of the talking? Psycho. He was the boss. He was like the list of To use uh, harsh language to cuss a lot, or is he? Yes, he cusses. He talks crazy shit. Sixty percent of the time, <sighs> getting, getting off, huffing, whatever I call it. Mm -hmm. And between the huffs, he talks crazy shit. He was the ringleader of the boss. Out here, you got a rail dog, and he was their rail dog. And Copper didn't seem to follow him as much as Snake did. Uh, no, Copper more was just a rider riding with him. Uh, you can tell by the way they hunt uh, Snake and Psycho was together and dressed, they was riding partners. And I don't know where Copper came in at this at, but he knew him too. Or he was up there with him. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see him do any, anything that, uh, any, anything aggressive, acts of violence or anything while they stand there pulling knives out or? No sir, they just was sitting there huffing their bag and talking to shit. You know, it's, it scared me enough I had to leave. They never started acting anything out? No, just a lot of talk, a lot of crazy talk. Anything else other than the, talking about human sacrifices that you remember now? That they, uh, you know, besides being atheists, Santonics, uh, you know, I don't know if it's always a joke or not. Did they have any tattoos on them? No, not that I can <coughs> see. They all had on long sleeve shirts. It was pretty nippy. They had coats? They didn't have their coats on. She had on a, a lady had on a black coat when I hugged her. I think it was black. Copper had on sunglasses. Yes, sir. What? What? Just uh, Oakleys or any name? Yes, sir, I, it's just sunglasses. Okay. What was he wearing? Uh, blue jeans. And uh, uh, what's those? Uh, sort of like yours, but brown. Just, just a pullover with just a few buttons up here. Or no, it's a button all the way up. Pull all the way up. Long sleeve. Yes, sir. The other two had on blue jeans, and they also had on a, uh, what the hell are these called? Flanner shirts, Flanner shirts. Flannel? Yes, sir. What, what color? Uh, coppers with more of a brownish, the other two was darkest, bluish, diff two different color blues mixed together. Okay. Do you remember seeing, you remember seeing any rings? Like, they had on gloves? And they covered their fingers? Yes, sir. The same thing on the gloves? 
No, sir. Nothing that I can tell you. Just black. Any type of pattern? Just black leather gloves. Okay. I liked them because they was real tight. You looked like they was good writing gloves. They say why they wore those or anything? No, most people wear them for several different reasons. 90% of the time people wear gloves just kind of still as cold or they don't want Boots, they all wore boots. Rail riders, all rail riders wear boots now, the same time. They wear gloves because it's cold and they don't want to wash. Well, now you the same time you see people out here riding gloves <coughs> on the train is because it's cold and they don't want to touch the cold steel. You know, they want to grab on the cold steel. Pop said they were from Kansas City. Yes, sir. Pop said he they was out of Kansas City. Should belong to those Kansas City bunch. Did they talk about any family or where yes, they Yes, sir. I'm, I'm in the conversation with stuff like that. We was just shooting the breeze about the trains. Recently getting out of jail or? Nobody said anything about that. jail. That's usually a conversation don't come. Yeah, don't talk about that, huh? No, sir. Okay. Anything else that helps us identify these fellas? If I see them, I can identify them. Okay. So if I can get, maybe get a picture or something, I can get old of you. Maybe well, sir, I ain't going nowhere. I, as you know, I got to take care of my sister. Yeah. You know, I got the receipts from where I rented my motel. I got the garden lodge for two months. Uh, you know, I got all kinds of receipts. That's how I keep up. Okay. I just, you know. You got, you got fresh cuts or anything on no your cuts. arms or scratches? No, or where? You pull your shoulder. I'm going to take it off. Yeah, you can turn around the back. Sorry, I ain't got nothing on me. Let's see the shoulder over here. That's, that's the part of the tattoo there? Oh, yes, sir. That's the part of blue. That's, that's blood. blood. Well, that ain't blood, but that's what it's supposed to be. in. Yes, sir. Okay. No tags, no cuts, no nothing, sir. Okay. I mean, no cuts, no blood. Okay. All right. No, you tired. Me too. I had a long day. I know you have. Ooh.